Why is it so important to get up early? Some of y'all don't want it. That's why you ain't got it. I don't sleep when I'm tired. I sleep when I'm done. The average millionaire wakes up at 4 a.m. So it started off 4 o'clock in the morning where I'd start and I'd start with my cardio, then I'd have breakfast, and then I would go to the gym, and then I'd go to work. Some of y'all have no idea what 4 a.m. looks like. Why would you not wake up at 4.30? Because you're too busy sleeping in. I'm pretty sure I wake up earlier than all of you. We don't sleep when we're tired, we sleep when we are... <laughs> too busy hitting the snooze button multiple times. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. And if we can really be honest, some of y'all don't even go to bed until about 4 a.m. If you can get up before the rest of the world is awake, right? Before the enemy's awake, you can get so much done. You're so much more productive. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Wake your ass up. And then they ask me, well, why are you up so early? <laughs> Take responsibility to make your life happen. Awaken the beast inside. Wake up at 4 a.m. So I begin to tell myself there must be a reason. When you have something to do, when you have someone to love, when you have something to look forward to, when you get up in the morning, see people who have something to look forward to don't need an alarm clock because they have a reason for being. You, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, then you have to pay your dues to get there. You've decided that you're not going to allow your circumstances to define you. You've decided that you're not going to allow the events, the things, the people, life, determine who you become. You got a problem with your life. You got a problem with your environment. Do something about it. If you want more freedom in your life, you have to have more discipline. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. You decided that you're not going to go through life being a whiner, being a complainer. That you're going to take responsibility for what it is that you want to create. The greatest ability that God has given humankind above the animals is the ability to choose. Ha, i̇nanılmaz bir fırsatım var. Videoyu böldüğümü biliyorum. Bir ücretsiz WhatsApp kanalımız var. Bu kanalda numaran kesinlikle görünmüyor. Goy goy yok. Sadece ben paylaşım yapıyorum. Ücretsiz YKS PDF'leri, ders notları, taktikler ve canlı yayınlar oluyor. Aşağı açıklama kısmına linkini bıraktım. Mutlaka katıl. Tamamen ücretsizdir. Numaran kesinlikle gözükmüyor. On a normal day, when you are very productive, think about how much you can actually get accomplished in three hours. If you seriously put your mind to it, you can study several chapters for that upcoming exam. You can read an entire book of about 150 pages. You can get a full workout, shower, and take your time getting dressed in three hours. You can type several chapters of your book in three hours. What I'm saying is, you can get three hours closer to greatness in three hours. There was an article that was posted in Business Insider that said that three hours seems to be the sweet spot to being significantly successful. So here's the question. What are you missing out on by sleeping in? Everything. What are you giving up by sleeping in? Everything. What are you gaining by sleeping in? Nothing. What are you accomplishing by sleeping in nothing I know what you're thinking I know what you're saying to yourself you're, you're probably wondering well who wakes up early well 
Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, wakes up early. Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, wakes up early. Andrea Jung, the CEO of Avon, wakes up early. Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, wakes up early. Dwayne The Rock Johnson wakes up early. What about you? What time do you wake up? You're missing out on precious moments and opportunities to get things done. You've heard the excuse, I don't have enough time in the day. Or you might have heard people say, I wish I had more time. My question is, what are you doing with the time you have? Better yet, if you claim that you don't have enough time, what are you doing to create time? What areas are you willing to sacrifice to produce more time? The truth is, you have the time. However, you may not be using it wisely. Well, guess what? Elon Musk has 24 hours. Beyonce has 24 hours. LeBron James has 24 hours. Warren Buffett has 24 hours. Bill Gates has 24 hours. Jeff Bezos has 24 hours. Mark Zuckerberg has 24 hours. You also have 24 hours. Everyone has 24 hours per day but some seem to be more successful than others. You know why? Because they value time and know how important time is. And if they feel that they don't have enough time, they don't mind sacrificing other things to create more time. So if that means you have to wake up at 4 a.m. to gain three more hours in your day, then that is what you will have to do. There is no ifs and or buts about it. That is, if you want to be successful. If not, keep sleeping in until 10 a.m. or later. Five years down the line, you're going to find yourself in the same position you're in now. If not, you don't have to listen to anything else I'm saying to you. But I just figured that I was talking to someone that wants to succeed at all costs. Someone that wants to pass their exams. Someone that wants to make it to the level you didn't even know existed. I want you to try it out. For one day, just one day, wake up at 4 a.m. See how much you can possibly accomplish in those three or four hours. After that, Wake up the second day at 4 a.m. Do the same thing. After that, do it for a week. After that, do it for 21 days until it becomes a habit. Challenge yourself. That is the only way you're going to do better. You want to be a millionaire? A billionaire? a success story, a CEO, a boss, and a straight-A student? Do yourself a favor and gain a few hours each day by waking up at 4 a.m. Your future successful straight-A billionaire self will thank you. <laughs>